the Rose Bowl in Pasadena California a deserving place for this matchup between the Nebraska Cornhuskers of the Big Eight the UCLA Bruins of the Pac-10 it's an almost perfect day weather wise and will get better as we go into the evening hours the Cornhuskers will kick off UCLA will receive it Chris Drennan will do the kicking off the deep guys for UCLA will be Brendan McCracken now a wide receiver had been a quarterback and Sean Wills number 37 he is a freshman out of Hanford California and he is a very good one he wears number 37 so we're ready to go Chris Drennan who has been shaken up but he's healthy again and he is the lead place kicker for the Huskers and this one is on long kick to the goal line Sean Wills a hole at the 20 down at the 25 we plan to try to just go after Nebraska with our basic offense we plan to uh, climb into the teeth of the defense they call it second down and six for UCLA Nebraska shows a five-man front defensively the backers are in close Ball goes to ball again, back in the middle. He's got some daylight. He reaches the 35-yard line. Eggman, the quarterback. He's quick the fullback. Big one, ball the tailback. Mike Carr, Reggie Moore, the wideouts. The linemen are Arbuckle, big tight end, big target. Menafield, Meyer, Cornish, and potential All-American at center. Zeno and Page. And for UCLA, third down and one from the 35. flag as Eric Paul goes over the top. Back 10. Offside. Husker. First down. Good. Willie Griffin, Mike Murray, and Paul Brungert all quick. Murray in the middle short but big at 240. The backers of Thomas, Etienne, Tyrants, and Mills. They're good ones. All of them. The defensive backs. Lorenzo Hicks, Reggie Cooper, Tim Jackson, and Charles Fryer. Sore hip. In other words. They send ball in motion on first down from the 40 and a whistle and a flag. Dead ball, illegal procedure, offense, first down. Bruins give back five yards, officiating the game. First down and 15, ball goes to the fullback, Mark Estwick. And Estwick, a 225-pound sophomore. Now it is second down and call it seven. And Aikman's first pass of the ball game goes down the middle with it. Pass is caught for the tight end, Arbuckle. He breaks loose, he's fast. He's on his way. It is touchdown, UCLA, right down the pipe. No flag. <laughs> Maggio's hold. Bad snap. Hold is good. The kick is good. 12.39 to go. Bruins score on their first possession to lead it 7 to nothing. Maggio will kick it off now. Dana Brinson and Terry Rogers are the deep people. Brinson 33, Rogers 20. The kick is short, drifting to the sideline, out of bounds. That'll cost them five, and they'll re-kick it. Waiting to accept it. They've now moved outside their 10-yard line. Maggio hits it clean down the middle this time, and it goes to Brinson, a flyer from Valdosta, Georgia. He's a senior, and he's across the 30, up to the 32. Like last year, uh, we thought we'd run on, but we couldn't very well, and we ended up throwing the ball a lot. So uh, we'll, we'll be very open-minded after the first couple series. Gain of one, second down, and nine. Gregory goes wide to the top of the picture. Eye formation for the Huskers. Steve Taylor. Play action. Rolls it out. Looks for Gregory. Hums it. He's got it. Out of bounds. Up around the 46, 47. Steve Taylor, the quarterback. Sam Schmidt at fullback. Ken Clark, the tailback. Richard Bell and Morgan Gregory, the wideouts. The offensive front, big tight end. Milliken, they're big all the way across the front. Sledge, Keeler, Young, Jake finally getting well and getting to play. John Nelson and Doug Glazer. They run 270, 265, 260, 260, 295. They are big. It is first down for the Huskers. At the 46-yard line. The tailback Clark has it. He is a hammer man. He gets up near midfield. 
He is one of the wide outs as Taylor pitches back to Clark. Clark behind the right side. Blocking will be a yard short. The Bruins defensive unit looks like this. Lodish, Waller, Wilcox are the three big people in the down position, and they are very, very important today. Smith, Davis, Johnson, Lake, all very good, very fast. Defensive secondary, Henley, he's a home run hitter. Darby's young and coming, and the Turners, Eric and Marcus. Jim Springer. Face mask, five yards against the defense. First down. Steve Taylor, born and raised in San Diego. Hands it off to Clark. Clark goes to the right side behind the pulling guard number, uh, pulling tackle. And they dodge a big one there. Taylor back, keeps the ball, runs it left, turns it upfield, lost his footing, and goes down. Third and eight. And Taylor straight back. Comes one, in and out of the hands of Gregory. Hit him right on the numbers. Henley, who broke one 89 yards in the opening game for a touchdown, is back there. He tries to pooch it up in the air and kill it, but he gets a tail dragger. It bounces into the end zone. Eastwick at fullback. Eric Ball is the eye back. Troy Aikman gives it to Ball, and Ball comes blasting up the middle, running behind Cornish. There's no room for him there. He converted over to wide receiver, and he's going to play a lot this year. Aikman to throw, sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Quick coverage by number 42, Jeff Mills, and Moore is in for UCLA. One remaining back, and Aikman rolls it out. Gets his pass off underneath, pass is caught up at the 36-yard line by Mike Farr. First down just outside the 36 for UCLA. They lead 7-0, first quarter, 7.5 to go, and it's Hall cutting it back against the grain. Breaks it big, he's got great speed. There's a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. You may have a holding call, just hang on. Another big play, though, by UCLA. Holding, Bruins, forget it. Where it is first down for UCLA, and the freshman tailback is in there, Sean Will from Hanford, California. And he's got some moves, and he breaks it big up across the 45. Pretty good last week in his first action. He stays in at the tailback position. Aikman hands it up front to Eastwood, the fullback, and Mark. Uh, so they feel like I guess they found something running up behind corner. Here's the pitch. They go wide this time. Wills cuts it back and goes down. Oh, look at this. He may go. No flags. Touchdown. Bruin. makes the conversion and how do you do 638 to play as UCLA jumps out to the 14 nothing lead and Maggio kicks it off it's a very high kick should be pretty good coverage as Brinson accepts it finds a little crack and gets up near the 30 yard line Steve Taylor sets him up put a man in motion that's Brinson pitch it back to the eye back reverse it to Brinson the wing back Brinson's got a man out in front of him. That's Taylor. Taylor looks for the block. Brinson cuts inside. He's got a first down as the balls come sliding away and uh, somebody in UCLA blue look like they may have it. Was he out of bounds or did he get it? He got it. Carnell Lake is the man that made that theft. Troy Aikman trying to cash it in. Goes down the middle. Pass good to Reggie Moore. Moore is rolled down at the Nebraska 27 and the Bruins. First down at the Husker 27-yard line. Ball has it. Eric, Eric ball. turns it up inside to about the 23. A pick up the defensive front for the Huskers. Aikman back to throw the ball. Shoots it. Right in between defenders complete. Down at the 15-yard line. It is first down, Bruins at the Nebraska 15. And whipping into the middle, it is Sean Wills again. He Ball has it. One block on the corner, slips one tackle, goes to the five before they can get him. Nope, they put him in motion the other way, then bring him back and send Ball into the middle. There isn't much there for Eric. It, Troy is in the fullback position now for the Bruins as Aikman keeps it, throws it. Touchdown! Charles Arbuckle second of the game.
Bosco for the extra point. Good. Aikman, five out of five, 101 yards, two touchdowns, four first downs to four different receivers. Two touchdowns going to that big guy right there, Charles Arbuckle. 321 to go. First quarter, 21-0 Bruins. And I'm sure he won't, and get his defense to play a little better. No, he may be the most collected guy in the stadium. This is Dana Brinson with another kickoff return. This time the Bruin coverage a little better. Taylor to the fullback. First carry of the day. Able tied in alignment. Power eye. Taylor keeps it, turns it inside. Taylor. Steve Taylor trying to make something happen, looking to the outside, and really got a hat put on him. Steve Taylor keeps it again, goes down the line with it. And number 48, Doug Klein. Good kick. Driving spiral. Henley's got some room. 25. Gets a block on the got corner. No flags. Touchdown. Velasco's point is good. Hey, folks, the water's getting deep. <laughs> he played almost one quarter. There's three quarters to play, but Tom's got to get his defense playing better. They're all in a coma. They're in shock. Dana Brinson on the kick return. 25, down at the 30, maybe the 31. All right. Husker's still looking for composure here as Taylor drops back. Swings it out to Clark, and he's slammed to the ground. Wicked hit by Matt Darby, and he's still growing. Taylor whips the pass. Pass is caught by Brinson. He can't shake loose. And the first quarter is over, and it's a shocker. UCLA 28, and Nebraska nothing. Over Nebraska as we start the second quarter of play. The Huskers have done virtually nothing offensively. Third down and eight as Steve Taylor drops one off underneath and a wicked, wicked hit. It is Matt Darby again. Brinson is 5'9", five, 5'7", five, 5'9", five, almost gets his helmet knocked off. Darby with a clean hit. The stats in the first quarter. Troy Aikman, Troy Aikman hasn't been a factor because they can't stop the run. Tom Osborne is quiet. Rogers is the quickness they may well need in the backfield. He stays in there. He's the son of Johnny, and he's up over the 50. Second down, about five, from the Bruin 49. Taylor pitches wide to Rogers. Looks for the block on the corner and cannot get it. He will pick up a couple of yards. 15, offense. Repeat second down. They've got to go to the UCLA 45 for the first down. Taylor gets some pressure, looking to throw the ball. Now he's drifting, and uh, the pass is deflected, intercepted by Marcus Patton. So Steve Taylor, who borrowed a lot of time there, John Pryor got the deflection. Troy Aikman again back quickly goes to the air, and the pass is incomplete, intended for Reggie Moore. Pull back, Estwick. Mark Estwick. Special teams giving Bruins the big early cushion as Aikman goes down the middle to Moore. Penalty flag down as Moore is brought down. Holding. Offense. Repeat third down. 49. Good. Got to go to the 34. 17 yards. Aikman sets up, has protection, shoots a bullet. Intercepted. Blazek, Mark Blazek, he's quite a young fella, too, I'll tell you. Mark Blazek is, uh, the official was over there. Blazek was down. He went down, clearly down on a knee when he made the call, didn't he? <laughs> the, the, the question is, did he have possession before he hit the ground? 
That's the question. Well, Jim Springer will clarify. Pass was intercepted. The player slot, he went down, but he was not down. Touchdown. Never made a call back there. It's a Nebraska touchdown. The Bruins stopped. They thought he was down. But the ball was apparently juggling around. He didn't have possession. Mark Blazek comes ambling back up the field. Oh, my goodness. Uh, does he hit the ground? Well, he's sure, he's right down. There. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What in the world's going on here? The man is down. Oh. I can't believe this. I can't either. That's if they can block this kick and run the ball back. Well, they can't as Drennan drills it through. And Nebraska is on the scoreboard in one of the doggondest moments of college football I have ever seen. <laughs> UCLA's lead now is cut by seven. Whatever. It's a big break for Osborne in the Nebraska court. Certainly is. An academic All-American did that. Ball goes back to the 10-yard line where it's taken by Sean Wills. And Wills comes up across the 25. Ball is just outside the 26-yard line. Aikman hands the ball away yeah. to Eric Ball. And Ball hangs in there for about one yard. Nebraska just got a touchdown on the dead gum display I've ever seen in 35 years of this game. <laughs> Troy Aikman throws down the middle. Charles Arbuckle pulls it in for another big gain. Eric Ball is the eye back. It is a first down after the reception by Arbuckle for UCLA from the 38. Ball with it. Eric Ball. Finds some daylight to the sidelines. Bruin backs are running hard. And Ball again. Eric Ball. And that's going to be a couple of yards short. From the 37-yard line, second down, call it three. Ball will run for it and will not get there as he picks up one yard. So let's see what the call is. It's against UCLA. On third down and long, Aikman to throw. Underneath, pass caught, David Keating. And he takes it down to the Husker 37. Oh, ball goes in motion. This reads pass. Aikman rolls it out. Gets it off. Pass is caught by Arbuckle. Good for a first down. Mike Farr, the man in motion. Aikman rolls it out. Penalty flag down. The pass thrown underneath. Pass caught by Moore. They go shift. More than one man in motion. Offense. First down. First down and 15 for UCLA. McCracken comes back toward the line of scrimmage. Far, there, uh, the ball takes a hit, holds his balance. It's second down and close to 14. Little play action. Aikman rolls, throws underneath. All buckled to tight end. Big man has it. Powers down the sideline and picks up a first down by UCLA. Aikman back, stands up, throws, pass caught down near the goal line. Touchdown, David Keating. extra point it is good that ball was caught by Keating and scored by Keating despite the fact that it was tipped it was struck by someone as it cleared the line of scrimmage it's now 35-7 UCLA Nebraska is just getting blown away by UCLA here in this first half 35 to 7. Kickoff is very high and short. Taken at the 13 by Terry Rogers. And Rogers. All right, from the 29, first down. Rogers is the eye back. Taylor takes it to him. Back to throw. Runs away from the pressure. Looks downfield and goes big downfield. Trying to stretch it. And has it intercepted by Marcus Turner. So they tried to stretch the defense. Eric Ball is the tailback for the Bruins. Has it. And he's hit. Aikman to throw. Throws short. Pass is good to Corwin Anthony. And Corwin Anthony afterward. Right now, Troy Aikman hands the ball off to his fullback. On first down, Estrick picks up a couple of yards. Hand off. 
Eric Ball. Eric Ball, the tailback carries. Oh, it's third down at about four. Aikman to throw. Under pressure, and he bounces one. The 42-yard field goal try by Velasco. Plenty of leg, and it's good. Alfredo Velasco. He has now made 10 consecutive field goals dating back to last year. And UCLA now leads 38 to 7, and it's very quiet in Lincoln, Nebraska. Bruins kicking off from the 35. Maggio hammers it high and back to the three to Terry Roger. Terry gets a hole, crosses the 25. A practice area in Lincoln, and they go home unless something dramatic changes here. As Taylor slips to the outside, he weighs 202 pounds, and he can run. And a penalty flag. Yep. Against the Huskies. Taylor, on a little delay, gives the ball away to Ken Clark. And Clark, with a good game, had him. Face mask, five yards, no. defense. Inadvertent. That was the eighth UCLA penalty in the game. And Taylor rolls it right, gets some pressure, and ducks the pass off. And we've got two flags. Tensile grounding against the blue, the white. We've got a face mask against the blue. Penalties declined. We feet the down. <laughs> they go to the wishbone for the first time in a ball game. Put Lance Lewis in the lineup. And the option down the line, pitch it to Clark. Clark isn't going anywhere in particular as he is ruled out. Lake is coming. Taylor gets it away, complete to the tight end, Todd Milliken. They, they pride themselves on play action passes. They've got to just drop back and throw. That's Steve Taylor. And caught and wrestled down at the 38. And the defense has got to start playing. First down, Taylor gets it off. Sideline. It's a fragile thing. First down, Huskers. Just outside the UCLA 22. Taylor stands up, throws to the corner. No! Incomplete intended for chip ball. Second down and 10. They'll run it. And Clark, short of the Bruins, 17. And it pop it outside and carrying is Lance Lewis inside the 10 down to a close to the seven and a first down. Call it first and goal from the UCLA eight. Taylor keeps it. Throws it. Touchdown. Morgan Gregory. It was close to the back line. One, Chris Gunnan for the extra point. He missed it, he missed it, he missed it. They're not out of the woods yet. It's now 38 to 13. And I think Dr. Tom is getting a little hot. <laughs> Here's the kick. They tried to pop it up and get their people underneath it, but uh, David Keating messed up that thinking that it's first down for UCLA they're 33 minute 14 to play in the ball game Eric Ball, and Eric Ball has it for the Bruins Aikman gives it to Eric Ball Eric Ball Nebraska defensive flow getting a little better as the game is worn on. All right, the Huskers have one more timeout, so they may jump on it and call timeout right after this play. Let's see if they do. First half is over. A surprise. UCLA 38, Nebraska 13 from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Well, we'll see if the Husker ship sails in better waters in the second half. Now, now, Crawford. They led it 1.28 to nothing. It's a high, short kick. Terry Rogers fumbles the ball, rolling around on the three. He had it in his hand, put his knee down, and they didn't call him down. All right, it's Ken Clark, Lance Lewis, part of that wishbone set up at the five-yard line. Steve Taylor down the line with it, keeps Taylor. it, turns and gets a couple of... Second down and eight for Steve Taylor. 
He's going to throw the ball. Throws underneath. It is intercepted. No, Almost. it is not intercepted. Almost. Third down and eight for the Huskers. UCLA offsides on the play. Made contact. Let's pause five seconds so our stations can tell you who they are. Third down and three. The pitch goes to Ken Clark. And Clark will have his first down. All right, on first down, Steve Taylor gives to the eye back. And into the crowd. Good news for those of you worrying about Dana Brinson. He's back in the ball game. He's all right. It's Taylor's pass thrown to the sidelines, and Dana is out of bounds. Bell and Nate Turner now are the wideouts as Taylor drops to throw it. He's in trouble, and the pass is incomplete. Croker's putt for Nebraska. Low line drive that gives Henley some room. Daryl Henley ran one back 75 yards earlier. Turns it upfield. At Estwick, the fullback. Eric Ball. And it's Ball. He had a big first half. We we'll call it second down and eight. Aikman looks, has time, throws it down the sidelines, and it is incomplete. Tim. Three wide outs, and Aikman rolls to the open field. Gets it off underneath. Pass caught by Mike Farr and Eric Ball. Couple of yards. They run it with Eric Ball twisting inside and comes up a couple of yards short of his first down. Uh, this is something special. Who'd have thought this today, huh? John and Isaac Call. They were the ranked number one in the country. Nebraska had won. 34 consecutive games. The professional ball as a defensive player. 34-yard field goal try by Velasco. It's good. He's made 11 in a row going back to last season. 10:41 to play in the football game, and UCLA now leads it 41 to 13. Gets it up, but he doesn't get it too deep, and that one hits the sideline and goes out of bounds at about the 18. So obviously Nebraska is going to want him to do it again. And uh, Rogers moving up to the 15. It's Rogers at the 17. Gets it out to the 30. It's a procedure call against UCLA, and I certainly would think Nebraska would want to make them kick off from the 25. We don't need you out there, right? This is a low line drive that bounces to Richard Bell, and Richard finally gets a chance to carry it. He's the young man from California, and he's rolled up pretty well. I think he lost the ball. And Nebraska gets it back. Not getting out of here tonight. Taylor hands it off on that little delay coming back Brinson on the counter Taylor back hands the ball off Ken Clark had some daylight but out of the referee's pocket came a penalty flag and when the now Taylor on second down drops straight back to throw comes one to Gregory and Morgan Gregory hauls it in, never giving him a chance to get into a rhythm for the game. Taylor hums it, and that one is almost intercepted, up and down. On fourth down, they snap it inside, trying to go for it, break it big, carrying the ball is Brian Carpenter, the fullback. One pulling it out when he needs it. Taylor runs away from one for Bruin for Seward. I back Clark. Third down and one for the Huskers. Taylor keeps it first down and inside the 15 down to the 12-yard line. Successful. It's the same action. Taylor dropped back, runs it back up the middle on a quarterback draw and inside the five down to the three with seven minutes and 50 seconds to play in the third quarter. Ken Clark dives and gets to the one. Taylor doesn't get it. It's second down and goal from the Bruin one. Taylor over the top. Touchdown, Nebraska.
So the folks wearing red now start to make a little noise with 6.09 to play in the third quarter. Just extra point. Last time they scored a touchdown. This time the snap's good, the hold is good, the kick is good. And so Nebraska pulls within 21. And we have 21 minutes and 9 seconds remaining in the ball game. The receiving position as Nebraska kicks it off, Gwinnon hits it. And it is Wills having a little trouble getting a handle on it. And he's still churning and gets it up across the 15 near the 17. Call it the 18-yard line, first down. Eric Ball is the eye back. He has it, hammers into the middle, and he moves it out. Ball's got it again. And Eric turns it up close to the 29. Ball is the worst horse. He'd be the only NCAA player to win a national championship in the same sport with two schools. At the end, had the ball. Third and long, Aikman drops it underneath to Brendan McCracken, and McCracken is thrown down right about the 39. Bruins for holding. Never saw the flag. Somewhere in the bottom of the stack, there. Well, they're not going to get fancy. They bounce Eric Ball outside, and he gets it up to the 30. That's it. That, yeah, they had pretty good field position off that punt. Ball's got it again. And hammered after a pickup of three. Second and seven. Up man, Estrick, the fullback. Fumble, fumbles a ball, and Nebraska, no. UCLA keeps it. Third and seven. Penalty flag as Aikman completes the pass to the tight end forward Anthony. And Anthony is brought down at the Nebraska 39-yard line. Let's it's against the Bruins. It wipes out the play. Third down, 12. Aikman gets some heat, runs away from it. Throws back across the field, incomplete. Intended for Reggie Moore is Richard Bell and Morgan Gregory, the deep people, and that's a beauty. It's Gregory at the 15. Got a block on the corner, but can't turn it upfield as Tyrese Knox steps in for the first time at the I-back position. Steve Taylor wants to throw it, does. Long pass across field to the sidelines. Well over 100 in total yardage. Ball is given to Knox. And third down. Not nine yards. First down, Huskers, he made a tough catch on the sidelines. Here comes Knox, the eye back. He's the bigger of the running back after three quarters of play. The UCLA Bruins ranked number five in the nation, leading the rest of the Huskers ranked number two in the nation by 21 points. It is second down, Nebraska, in a 41 to 20 ball game. The handoff goes to Brian Carpenter. Richard Bell goes in motion. Penalty coming here. Huskers make another mistake. That mistake makes it third and seven. Taylor takes off, dives for the marker, and I don't think he got there. First down for the Huskers. Taylor still got it. Throws it back in the middle for Todd Milliken, the tight end, and under throws him. And it was a lot more than 28 to 10, wasn't it? Into the middle goes Brian Carpenter, the fullback. Taylor checking off. Penalty flag goes down as Taylor dances around and throws it deep, and it is incomplete against the Cornhuskers. Had to come back that far running. Taylor hums it to the sidelines and virtually no chance on the play. I think it's a little bit of all of the above. Beautiful high kick this time by Cooker. 
Henley lets it go into the end zone. Eric Ball. Eric Ball. Close to four yards, mostly up. If he could have won this game tonight, it would be number 150 for him. Eric Ball. Eric Ball turning outside. Hell well short of the first down. Third down and four. Aikman down the middle. A little bit too high. Hornhuskers try to get in some rush on him. And they let the ball bounce. And it goes back to the 25 yard line. I'm sure Tom Osborne is going to get a lot of teaching done from these films. Taylor's pass looped out. Pass is complete for a big game. The Ken Clark swinging out of the backfield and a first down at midfield. Morgan Gregory and Nate Turner are the wideouts. And penalty flag down as Taylor throws complete to Richard Bell, who gets down to the 40. Bowl of oatmeal on your shoulder, don't you? Repeat first down. Bowl of oatmeal. First down and 15. There's a little delay to the eye back Clark. Clark runs up the middle to midfield, and there it stayed here. Long Beach State was. Cloud under today by Oregon, 49 to nothing. Again, that hard pass drilled into the chest of Morgan Gregory. Taylor shoots another one, intercepted on the deflection by Matt Darby. And he goes down as he runs in to uh, Chip Baugh. So the Bruins now go from the 26-yard line, first down. And Eric Ball Eric has Ball. it again. Tell you, Eric's going to sleep pretty well tonight. Second down, seven. Aikman. Underneath, pass caught. But it's well short. No, they don't rule it. Third down and seven. Aikman, good. Pass caught by Mike Farr, and good for a first down. Up at the 41-yard line. First down. Down, 41-yard line. Eric Ball. Eric Ball works his way up near the 45. Sean Wills is in now at the tailback position and has the ball. He's the freshman from Hanford. And the Huskers get after him in a hurry. Well, it's a festive time for them. I think for the moment as Roderick Thomas finally gets his hands on Troy Aikman and his previous two. And this is another good one. Gregory. Back to the 26. Underneath, Brinson turns back, and there's no daylight. Down. Bruins try to blitz him, gets it away, and it's incomplete. Brinson. Across the 50 to the 49. Fourth down and short yard. And they get it as Tyrese Knox. 100,000 guarantee. First down as Taylor drops back. Big one downfield. Gregory and the ball is thrown out of bounds and complete. Taylor draws it. Can't quite get loose on the corner over there. Legal substitution on the defense did not participate. Five yards. Second down. Taylor loops his pass downfield. Bell cannot get to it. Long five for Nebraska. And up the middle goes the fullback, Ryan Carpenter. He does not want to see a fall off in the intensity as Brinson comes on a wing back reverse and picks up another. Nebraska first down. This year they have a chance to, to break that one. This is Taylor, and he flips it back to the trail back Brenson, and Brenson gets about three yards more. High caliber, good talented players. First down and goal from just inside the seven, and Carpenter gets down close to the goal line. Taylor throws it. And it is caught by Todd Milliken for a touchdown. Born for two. Taylor bootlegs, dives, he's in there. 
And now it's 41-28. 13-point lead for UCLA. So little time. Don't get it. They touched it before it went 10 yards. We haven't gotten the call yet. There it is. Well, the Nebraska man had his hand on the ball. The ball was illegally touched by the kicking team before it went 10 yards. First down. First down on the Nebraska 44-yard line. And give it to Eric Ball, who has hammered and hammered and hammered and hammered. Second down and five. And, you know, the offensive line, if you had to pick one weakness on the UCLA team, and, and true, it's an unknown factor at this juncture of the season, but I think they were most everybody on the coaching. Third down and a foot. Ball dives and gets it. Ball again. And they're just going to keep on doing it until Nebraska makes them stop. First down, Burns. Eric Ball again. They have been impressive. Up the middle goes the fullback, Mark Estrick. Mark and Cotter. It's Eric Ball again. And this instance, I think it's kind of interesting here. Tom Osborne, next win, will be 150 for him. It is the first time that Donahue's Bruins have been able to beat Nebraska. They do it tonight before 84,086. And hasn't it? As Donahue goes up on the shoulders of his team and his staff, they prepared well for it. They worked hard to get it. And normally when you do that, good things happen to you. And it did tonight. As the UCLA Bruins beat the Nebraska Cornhuskers by a score of 41 to 28. No longer the gutty little Bruins. They're big and they're very strong. 